We're in the middle. I don't know if it's a blizzard. Is it a blizzard? It's a lot of snow anyway. Uh, of 2024, we got got an easy pass through Christmas, and now it's uh, we, we see this is <laughs> how much like life, isn't it? You know, you go along and you think, well, you know what? Well, we're in the in the 50s, right? In December, and now here we are in the second week in the January, and the snow just keeps coming, blizzard conditions, and freezing everything, and it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Well. You know, did you think that this wasn't going to happen? Did you think that because uh, December was unusually warm, uh, that winter wasn't coming? Is that what you, did you think that? That's not good planning. Maybe, maybe you should think about that kind of thing. Just, just, you know, just throwing out the possibility that things actually happen, that the things that, uh, the things that always have happened uh, might just happen, uh, just might happen to you does it kind of works that way as a matter of fact so that's what this planning is about right this is about making sure that but you see you see here's the thing you can't live you can't live here you can't live in michigan uh or in the temperate zone i mean maybe florida is different maybe that's why everyone's moving to florida huh um but you can't you can't live here without knowing that you're going to have high wind rain snow freezing everything you know, you know that that's going to happen. That's just that's just the deal. And if it isn't happening today, say thank you, Lord. Uh, it's not happening today because it's going to be happening. It's going to be happening uh, tomorrow. Now you can live in a tent if you want to during the. You know, imagine that you're living in a tent right through December, and you think, well, this is not so bad. This is not so bad, right? It's warmer than it has been. It hasn't had snow or nothing, right? But but you got to be thinking as you're living in your tent. Uh, you know, January came around last year. So did February and March, right? Maybe that'll happen again. Maybe the thing that always happens will continue. To, now maybe it'll stop. Maybe that you know all that global warming stuff is really true, and I don't need I don't even need a blanket anymore because uh, everything's going to be uh, you know warm and cozy because of that. Well, or climate change or whatever it is they're calling it today. Well, anyway, that's not, uh, doesn't work like that, okay? Then you get, uh, then you get feet of snow. You know, there was a, I, I think, was it in Glacier National Park? They put a sign up like uh, 10 or 15 years ago. And the sign was like, uh, this glacier will be gone in 10 years. <laughs> I don't know, so, you know, by 2010, this glacier, you know, there was a glacier here, but ain't here anymore because it's gone. Well, the glacier, like, I don't think <laughs> it'd be better if the glacier kind of crushed the sign, you know, keep growing, but it didn't, it was still there, you know, it didn't, didn't go anywhere. So I had to take the sign down. So the point is that you can, you know, when you plan ahead, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to plan ahead, I'm saying it's a good thing to plan ahead, right? But you can't plan on things going your way, right? You gotta, you gotta be realistic about that. And how do you get the peace of mind? How do you get security? That's, that's what it is. And then what do you have to do? What do you have to do to get there? That's what this is all about. That this is not about, oh, I've got a stack of documents. I, I have a trust. I have a this, I have a that power of attorney, whatever. It's not about that. All right. It's about knowing based on experience, decades of experience. It's about knowing that your stuff is taken care of, that you don't have to worry. Right. Why is it that politicians come after Social Security all the time? Now, under or, or Medicare, right? Social Security and Medicare, right? They're always coming after it, but they're never showing up. Okay. Because why? Because they're never really coming after it. There's no way people, that is just a cornerstone, right? When you get, get retired and go to retire, and you can, you can say, well, FDR never expected people to retire on Social Security. It doesn't matter what FDR thought. That's, what, that's the reality of the thing, is that without Social Security, without Medicare, Johnson, LBJ, never thought that people would need Medicare as their primary health care. Okay? He didn't think that. Well, it doesn't matter what he thought. That's what it has evolved to, right? And that's why it's not going anywhere. Right? Simple as, simple as that. Okay? Because why? Because people count on it, people rely on it, right? And when you threaten that, when you say, oh, you know, that 
Those bad guys over there, of course, I would never take it away. But those bad guys over there, they're going to take it away tomorrow. And then, oh, we all hate those bad guys over there who's going to. Remember that? There was a, there was actually a TV ad where they showed these bad guys, uh, uh, lady in a wheelchair, wheeling her to a cliff and throwing her over, you know. And it was like, and, and the people that the ad was against were like, we never said that. We never, what are you talking about? Well, you know, dishonesty never stopped anybody in politics. So uh, you still had the ad. But the point is, it's not going to happen. Because why? Because that is a a fundamental building block of middle-class America's security, all right? How do you have any peace of mind at all? Well, you know that if you need to have a heart attack, you need a stent or cataract or hearing, whatever it is, Medicare is going to be there because you paid in. And even in the new budget deal, they just got to, you know, they haven't taken it out. So, okay, good, good, good. That's good. We've got um, we've got that uh, we've got that taken care of, right? That we don't have to worry about, all right? And the reason they threaten it, the yelling at each other, the reason, and it seems to go one way on that aspect. Um, the reason they threaten it is because it is such a fundamental part of your uh, of your security. What I'm suggesting, right, with the estate planning that we do, and it's not really estate planning because um, not first and foremost. First and foremost, it's about uh, long-term care. It's about health care uh, for you. It's about the part of health care that Medicare doesn't take care of because it's invisible, because you don't notice it, right? See, when you need cataract surgery, you need cataract surgery, and you're going to get in there, and you're going to say, I need cataract surgery. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to write my congressman, and blah, 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 and now I'm going to get my cataract surgery. That's true. That's how that, that's how that works. When you need long term care, you can't advocate for yourself anymore. You can't advocate for yourself anymore. Right? You you can't put political pressure on the politicians to deliver the services. You paid anyway. You still did pay, but now they're going to take whatever you've built up over the years. That's the reality of it. So. How do people deal with this? I mean, why isn't this as outrageous as they're going to take away your social security? Why is it not? Because it's easy to deny. It, it's hard to see right? until it happens and then you can't deny it anymore. So what if you plan to have, what if once you see it, you know, and that's what happens, people see it and they're like, holy cow, I got to do something about this, right? Then once you see it, you cannot unsee it. You know how that is, you know, uh, this is why in Driver Ed, at least back when I was going through Driver Ed, they play all those. Do you remember this? They play all those movies of car crashes. You know, they were horrific. I, you know, and they've got the the black and white from the Indiana State <laughs> State Highway Patrol. You know, from the fifties or something. And then you hear the moaning and groaning and the smashed up bodies and all the rest. You know, that was that was mostly uh, back when I was doing Driver Ed. That's mostly what it was about. You know, don't don't be like, an, you know, don't let this happen to you kind of thing. Well, you know, without that kind of thing, it's easy to say, especially a teenager driving a car, easy to say, well, that stuff never happens. Well, there's the pictures of it. OK. And it's the same way with the with the long term care. It's easy to say, well, that's not going to happen to me. It's not like my spouse needs a bypass and needs it right now. Yeah, I know it costs a lot of money, but that's why I paid my Medicare with the long term care. Again, taxpayer supported when you're broke, but they make you go broke first. What if they made you go broke, you know, before you got Social Security? What if you had to be broke to get Medicare? That's not going to happen. It's never going to happen, right? Because everybody feels that pain immediately. It's the long-term care pain. It's the pain of, you know, going broke that people don't feel until it happens. And then what? And then you've got your spouse you know, relying on what? Relying on clipping coupons and whatever else. Well, you di it didn't have to be that way, but, you know, nobody said nobody said anything about it. Well, we're saying something about it. And it doesn't have to be that way, even under the current system, right? If they ever decide to make uh, long-term care part of Medicare, you know, and recognize that, hey, this is something that real people really need, but they'll never do it because it's just too easy to get away with it. And they don't do the hard stuff. They do the easy stuff. 
just the way it is. So it's up to you now to ensure your own peace of mind, your own family's security.